Rashida Talib is another crazy woman here. A crazy woman that wants to impeach the president. A crazy woman, let me tell you, that wrote a notorious anti-Semite, um, basically an article for Louis Farrakhan. Let's speak about Rashida Talib. She is another one who is a very radical woman, hates the U.S. Um, she is pro-Palestine. What do you think about this woman here? Well, let me touch on what you started with. A really good mm -hmm. place to start. Louis Farrakhan is the conductor of the crazy train. This is a man that thinks um, white America uh, are the devils. In fact, his religious belief, which he teaches, is that the white race was invented by a mad scientist named Yakub in a laboratory, and they are genetically inferior to the black race, and the black race over history invented everything, and the white race was intended to serve the black race, and somehow that got flip-flop. Now, <laughs> I feel kind of silly saying this out loud because it sounds like a stupid cartoon, but that's the religion that he teaches. He hates Americans that are white. He hates Americans that are Jews. He makes no secret about it. He has mm -hmm. hundreds of quotes proving that. It doesn't need a debate. Just go to YouTube or Google and look it up. So you would think, Jermaine, that someone who is a member of Congress wouldn't want anything to do with him. Well, Rashida Tlaib used to write for him and used to support him and still considers him a friend and wants to get her picture taken with him. That's number one. Now, don't you think that sounds really bad for your political future? Well, she got elected. And on election night, with her children, and all of her supporters, her first public statement was, I'm going to Washington, and we, this was in regards to President oh, Trump, yeah. are going to impeach the mother effort. That's her famous quote to start her political career. The other day she did an interview um, on national television and was given the opportunity to walk back those words. Maybe you shouldn't have said mother effer about the President of the United States. You know what she said? That's the way I talk. I'm proud of what I said, and I stand by my words. Oh, boy. I'm embarrassed she's a representative of the American people yeah. in the Congress, and every good, decent American should. Like the President, dislike the President, it's okay. But you know what? Have some dignity. Have a little bit of class. Uh, the more you learn about this woman, the worse she looks. This is somebody who said, Israel is the same as segregation in the 19th century. She's never been there either. So these people pick up talking points from fellow communists and attack, attack, attack as if it's going to be true, but haven't been there to see it in person. This is also a person that says all of her supporters must go to the border and not eat until ICE is shut down and out of business. <laughs> That's her plan for changing ICE. Now, you know, she could um, pass a law in Congress because it's congressional law that enabled and founded ICE, but she doesn't want to do it that way. She wants to shut them down, as she said, by any means necessary. That is not a politician. That's more of an anarchist, right? So mm -hmm. she said, you know, in that same interview the other day, that the Speaker of the House, which is Nancy Pelosi, who she considers to be racist, only talks about the squad because they're women of color and that the squad ought to have Nancy come to her so that Nancy can learn what she wants to do and how to change her policy and the only reason why uh, Nancy Pelosi doesn't support them is they're women of color. Forget the fact that there's a hundred other people of color uh, serving. Uh, what matters is that the Speaker of the House doesn't listen to her. And she feels that she's getting death threats because of the Speaker of the House. Which, by the way, everybody in Congress gets death threats 
all the time. So Tlaib is um, radical, is anti-American, is anti-Israel, is anti-Semitic, and about, and I say this without too much fear of contradiction, with the least amount of decorum of anybody serving in the House of Representatives today, because she's got a mouth on her that just doesn't quit, and she won't apologize for it. In her mind, you can call the President of the United States a mother effer, and that's just the way she talks. Well, not in the America that I want to support, and I hope Michigan does the same thing that Minnesota does and votes in somebody, Republican or Democrat, anybody's better, truly, who at least loves this country. Remember, when she went to Congress and had her office open for the first time, she took the name of Israel off the map and put Palestine over. Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, my goodness gracious. They're our closest ally in the world, and in her mind, they cease to exist. Yuck.